Hello, my name is Aida Coleman, a social media strategist at Normat Elite, where we help entrepreneurs, investors, digital nomads, families, or retirees to obtain citizenships or resident permits. In this video, we are going to talk about Paraguay. Paraguay is my country. I am Paraguayan. You could realize because of my Latin accent. Well, uh, my country is located in the heart of South America. We have borders with Argentina, Brazil, and Bolivia. We are divided in two regions. Both regions are very different in weather and soil properties. The weather in the Oriental region, when where the most most of the population lives is quite tropical uh, and in the occidental region the weather is very hot temperatures arise until more than 40 degrees and the soil is very arid and dry the regions are divided by the paraguayan region a uh, river sorry and the capital city is is situated in the oriental region but in front of the occidental the capital city is asuncion is where i live our main economic activities are agriculture and livestock or cattle raising we export one of the best meats to the world the paraguayan meat is very good one of the best I tried even traveling. We have three hydroelectrics. One of them is the second biggest in the world. Is the is the name is Itaipu. It's a project built with Brazil. It's a binational between Paraguay and Brazil. The other one is Jacireta and is built with Argentina. And the third one named Carau is 100% Paraguayan. Well, our population arrives almost to eight millions. We are a bilingual country. We have two languages, Spanish, the one that we, we inherited from, the, from Spain. We used to be a Spanish colony. And the other one is inherited from our natives, the Guaraníes, and the name of that language is Guaraní. And in Paraguay, until now, both languages coexist together. Uh, Guaraní is very used, especially in the inside of the country. Our coin is the Guarani, it's a very sta stable coin in the region. Our weather is very hot at the moment, now it's summer. <laughs> well, we have mostly, summer is the one that we feel most. Temperature in summer oscillate between 31 until 38 degrees. Winter is not hard in Paraguay, summer is hard. Our religion is mostly Catholic, like, we are, we used to be a Spanish colony, but we have different regions. Cultural and social life is a fusion between Spanish and Guarani traditions. Social life surrounds around family or friends. Until now, we have the tradition of having meetings with the family on Sundays where we eat our barbecue or traditional dishes. Our main ingredients for the traditional dishes are meat, corn, and yuca. So we eat, for example, a barbecue accompanied by the only solid soup in the world that is made with uh, corn, cheese, onions, and it's solid, it's delicious. Our gastronomy is very, 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 very good, honestly. Paraguayan food is, is amazing. We have chipa and beju that are versions of bread made with stark cheese, yuca. The list of traditional food is very extensive. I'm, I'm very, I love my, the traditional food of my country. We have a very embedded tradition that is drink yerba mate. I'm going to show is something like this. It's, it's a drink that we, almost any Paraguayan, uh, people drink hot or cold and well my country has a lot of handicraft that are the nyandu tea for example if is is a very nice handicraft that we export even to the world is a fine woven cotton thread amazing amazing i'm going to talk about the cost of living in paraguay the estimated cost for a four members family is a bit less than 2000 american dollars for a, a middle class family and for a single person is around 800 dollars paraguay is the second cheapest in south america the second cheapest country in south america 
I'm going to talk about two important tips or facts in my country. Paraguay is home to the world's largest water reserve. The Guarani Aquifer is located underneath Paraguay, Uruguay, Brazil, and Argentina, and it stretches 1.2 million kilometers. It could supply fresh drinking water to the world for around 200 years. And at the moment, we are going through one of the biggest infrastructure projects. Uh, it's called the Bioceanic Route. It's a project connecting Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and Chile. And the intention of this project is to connect the Pacific with the Atlantic Ocean. When this project will be finished, it will reduce the cost of transportation of products between these, country, these countries to the final port from where they will be exported to the world in a very big percentage. People in my country are very calid. They, they receive people from outside. Uh, they invite uh, to their houses. We, we have a very big social life in Asuncion. The capital city has grown a lot in the last years or decades. We are a good country, a nice country to visit. visit. We have very nice places to, to go on holidays. We don't have beaches, but we have rivers. We don't have beaches with sea, but yes, with rivers. And well, this is something I could tell you about my country, um, the information I could give you. And if you need help getting resident permit or citizenship, or want to create an holistic plan to reduce your tax burden, please feel free to contact us. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm uploading new videos on digital nomad locations, travel updates, and investment advice several times a week right now. And if you got some more time left, check out these videos. Thank you for watching.